what's up fitted squad this is brad and came to fit it coming to you with another quick video and today what i'm doing um, i'm actually about to shoot a video um, that i'm going to try and get more of the homies involved in i'm actually going to be going over everything that's wrong with my car and i'm gonna call out a few of the homies um, see if we can get them to do the videos as well um, i'll definitely put a link in the description below for everybody so you can take a look at their responses um, but as far as who I'm going to call out, I actually have a lot more than I was thinking originally. But I want to call out the homie Boost Emotion, Keon, Mr. Rockoff Johnson, This Bigama, Carshall Rell, Angelo, Brandon, and uh, the Home Shooting Star. So I'm going to put a link in the description below to all of their YouTube channels. Um, you might want to turn on the post notifications so when they do upload their videos, you'll be able to see that as well. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, so decided to switch locations to kind of get started. Now, wanted to kind of jump into it besides the car being dirty. Um, number one thing I want to, or the first thing I want to talk about, which is pretty new, is this front lip destroyed. I've had that part like that for months, but that, that's pretty fresh so still trying to find an affordable one because I'm not really trying to spend a whole bunch on the car right now because like I said I might not be keeping it for a lot longer so that's um, the first thing I want to talk about and one of the bigger issues um, I want to bring up let me go ahead and show you guys Now, as you saw, I had to go side by like each individual side. And that is because this side right here is still on a coilover. So I have a video going over why specifically. I can throw that in the description as well. But yeah, I don't have a coilover for that side. I mean a bag for that side. So as you see, this side is lower because there's actually a bag here that is aired out completely. Now the front, I still don't have the fitment dialed in like I would like, so that's definitely the issue there as well. Um, and I have a little fender issue there, as you can see. But I do want to get the front kind of dialed in a little more. Um, I don't know if I need more camber or exactly what I need, but that's definitely an issue there. Um, another one, another issue that we have. I don't know if you can, how much you can see it. Get close. But yeah, this roof wrap needs to be taken off and redone. And I could definitely get it done. Um, but like I said, I don't really know how much longer I'm at the car. So it's a lot of little things like that on that's wrong with the car that it was like yeah I could fix it but I don't know how much longer I'm gonna keep it um, let me see uh, the audio now that is an interesting one because it vibrates like crazy now to some people that's a big issue some people like that it bothers me at times because it's not just the trunk but mirrors vibrating like crazy I mean but I do have a, a single 15 got the panels vibrating it's, it's definitely a lot that vibrates but also my tank itself this vibrates pretty bad it's not always, depending on the song, you can really hear it. So, and while I'm looking at it, I 
guess I can mention it. This uh, QR code doesn't really work too well because it's too reflective. So I'm probably going to have to wrap this a, a solid color and then do stickers again on it. Because uh, that's really not... It doesn't work. It's supposed to take you to um, my link tree. But yeah. So that's another thing that's not really right. Um, and on top of that, the audio, like on the inside, I need to do something for the vocals because if the volume is low you can't really hear too much um, you just hear the bass and my bass is set to zero on the actual um, setup but it's still it's overpowering you can't really hear the audio until you start turning it up and you start getting pretty high and then you can hear it pretty well so that's something that I had planned to work on but um, that kind of just kind of slowed down and stopped um, oh yeah, then this rotor had a little issue there, and um, it was uh, it was our fault, but um, yeah, you see it's pretty scratched up and rusted. That's the only one that's like that. The rest of them are pretty decent. So, that's an issue. A little issue here. Um, when I got the grill, that little chip, that happened like on the way home from getting it installed. Like, I, I don't even know what happened, but that was day one. Um, yeah, it's pretty bad on around this side. This is probably about four years old, the wrap itself, so. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be peeling that off pretty soon. Then also, I got little door dings here and there. And it mostly happens where I live. Cause it felt like for a little while, every time I would come out to the car, it was a new one here and there. Um, also, I'm not a big fan of the screws for the bumper for the rear diffuser, but it's not horrible. And this muffler is bent a little bit. Um, back when I was static, I kind of got stuck on something. And um, it kind of pulled a little bit. And yeah, so that's an issue. It's bent a little bit to the side, but it hasn't really been a huge issue. Um, I'm just trying to think, is there anything else? Uh, inside's pretty solid and clean. Um, I do have a mark right there. I haven't even tried to touch that, so I probably could wipe that up and I just haven't really messed with it. Let's see. Another one there. Oh, yeah, there is something on the inside, big time. I can't believe I almost forgot. Uh, now, I do need my TPMS sensors. So that's not horrible. But if you see, it acts like I have the parking brake on, but I do not, as you can see. Now it's on. And that didn't change. Now it's off. And it still didn't change. So there's an issue with that sensor. So I will, next time I'm getting my oil changed, I need to get that taken. Um, for them to take a look at it. I just haven't had to go up to Nissan in such a long time. But I'm about to hit 45,000 miles, so I will be going for my um, oil change. It's only $6 at the dealership, so that's why I usually go. But um, I'm going to get that taken care of. And there's an issue with the hood latch. Well, not really an issue. It's a recall, so before it's an issue. So I'm going to have them take a look at that while I'm there as well. Um a little discoloration on there but nothing really major and I think yeah so nothing major but that's pretty much it I mean the car is still pretty solid not a lot of complaints with it or anything a lot of little things and things that basically caused by me so yeah that's pretty much it um, that and if I didn't call you out um, to do your car uh, it's definitely nothing personal. It's just I have so many YouTube homies and 
I think I called out too many, honestly. Um, but we're gonna see if we can get those guys to do their videos. Um, and links to their channels will be in the description below. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. Um, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what's the worst of the worst. And what definitely should be fixed, whether I keep the car or not. And yeah, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe. And as always, stay fitted. Peace. Oh yeah, I promise I'm gonna get it right one day. But, forgot again, but the comment of the day is going to be... And if you wanna be listed for the comment of the day, make sure to leave a comment and you may be selected in the future.